On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on the fast Fennec 45 with the double tap mod, and on the powerful M16 that turns fully automatic when pack a punch. Let's go try them out. When I say that this Fennec is fast, I mean it in a few ways. Not only does it have a fast rate of fire, but I think this is actually the fastest weapon in the game not named the VR-11. So I do have a little bit of a weird build on it, making it as small as possible. So our recoil and our accuracy probably isn't going to be as good, but our movement speed is going to be up. And if you look in the bottom right here for our Fennec, it says I only have 12 bullets in the mag, and that's because we're using the double tap mod for this weapon. And from the little bit that I've used this weapon in the past, I remember it being very strong. Like it actually surprised me. So I'm hoping with MAGA holding, making that 12 round mag not really be a problem for this weapon that it actually turns out to be pretty good and of course everybody knows by now that the m16 starts out as a burst fire weapon that goes to fully automatic when pack a punch now i want to see if the maggle holding can take it over the edge so let's go ahead and pack a punch this upgrade it to legendary do the same for this but only to epic for this one because i'm out of legendary tools and let's throw on our mag of holding so now we have 294 bullets for our vector here and it seems like it kind of tears through these tier one zombies like it's nothing. But name a gun that doesn't. And as for our M16, we get 660 bullets. That's not bad. How's this doing against some tier two zombies? Oh, insta killed one with armor. A body shot there almost killed it. So far, it's looking good for our Fennec. And let's give it a quick test against some tier three zombies here. What's it doing? Okay, not very bad. Just a few little bursts that it can take any zombie down. What about a fully armored one? Broke its helmet almost immediately. This isn't bad. The only thing I don't like is constantly tapping the trigger. But damage-wise, this thing is pretty decent. And what about our M16? Seems pretty good to me. And we're going to need a little bit of cash. We're going to buy some perks. So I'm going to run a few bounties here. And we can test these guns out against some tier 2 bounties. All right, Mangler. How's this doing against you? Hellhounds, sit. Mangler, you liking this? Broke his armor pretty fast. He's already to half health. And he is dead. Not bad. I'm liking this gun a lot. You know what? We got the storm right here. Let's go pay a visit to the storm caller. I feel like we're doing pretty all right for ourselves already this game. We don't need all of our perks to fight them. So let's see. We can stop him from healing. Took a few extra shots though. Broke his mask. How much damage are we at? I don't feel like it's doing a whole lot to him. Eh, it's going down a little bit. Oh, and we're about to go down. Unless I throw a decoy. What about our M16? Is this doing any better? Oh, they seem to be doing around the same amount of damage. Nothing really impressive against the Stormcaller so far, but since we're right by this ammo cache, I'm going to grab more decoys. When in Rome. Don't you leave the storm, Stormcaller. I'm going to be pissed if you go and heal up. Oh, he's doing it. Cocksucker, stop. He's just slowly moonwalking away. Oh, now he's extra healing. You're a dick. We still don't even have him to half health yet. It's not looking too good for these against him. Oh, an insta-kill. Let's use this. And let's just try to take him out as fast as we can. Don't knock me, please. Or knock me, whatever. Don't listen to me. Got fucking killed by a motorcycle. We gotta keep shooting him. Keep up the damage. Kill him before this insta-kill runs out. Oh, he might get away with it. Oh, no. Especially if the wall's in the way. Oh, damn. He's so close to death. You better not have healed. Where'd you go? I'm sick of you. Oh, he did heal a bit. I really did not build either of these weapons for recoil. It's like I'm playing CSGO with these. Gotta learn the spray patterns. But he's finally dead. Oh, pack one crystal? How generous of you. And a rare aether tool. I think we're probably good now. I do want to try this M16 out against one tier two bounty though. But we'll have enough money to get our perks. All right, M16, let's see what you got. We got another disciple for you. This one should be a bit easier to kill. Oh yeah, it definitely is. He's already gone. Easy reward. All right, perks have been acquired. Now let's test it against the Mega Abomination. What's going on, dude? Love it when you open up with the laser. It makes my job easier. There goes one head. Doing not the craziest amount of damage, but taking out the head fast ain't bad. Actually, I don't know what like the correlation is because sometimes I take out the head pretty fast, but his health doesn't go down fast. And other times his health will go down, but his face won't break. So I understand these guys. Either way, I'll take any damage we can get as long as it's good damage. There goes another head. What's your health at now? About half? I'll take it. Oh, and we're out of ammo. Okay. Fennec, that was a good try. We didn't have a whole lot of ammo to use with you to begin with. M16, time to come off the bench. Gotta make a play for me. There you go. Shoot the laser immediately when I hit my Aether Shroud. Perfect timing. Oh, it's not doing like 
a crazy amount of damage, but he's had his mouth closed besides that laser just then. I started to go down a bit though. He's almost dead. There you go. That's what we're looking for. This should be it right here. Night, night. So as a combo, these two are pretty nice. The vector on its own though, it was doing like decent damage. Like we, we saw it break the faces, but it running out of ammo that fast is not that great. So definitely keep an eye on your ammo count if you're gonna use this build for it. I do really like the movement speed though. I think I can outrun a lot of the faster zombies here and maybe even outrun hellhounds if I remember correctly. Well, let's see if we can outrun this guy. I think we're both going for the same contract. We might be running with fists out. Is this faster than fists? It might be slightly. He's a little bit ahead of me. Can I catch up? Ooh, I'm on his tail. I'm going inside this way. Give me the contract. Oh, let's go. I'm too fast for you, buddy. And we get a mega abomination. And I think I am. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I think I am faster than these hellhounds, but it just bit my ass. So maybe when tax sprinting, but when the tax sprint runs out, he's right there. But since we start with the vector last time, we're going to start out with the M16 on this one. How are we doing against you? Throw that decoy. Let's go for the middle right away. That's decent damage and a head pop. Not bad. We can constantly lay on the trigger too. Uh-oh. We got two abominations. Not good. Not good. Let's try to take some of these zombies out this time. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a brain rot on this. We're going to need a little extra help. We already got this thing down a decent amount of health. Got another decoy. Let's go for the right head this time. And that one's gone. Half health. Oh, come on. You just saw what I did to your friend. Now you want some? Just feel left out. You know what? I'll take on all of you. I don't care. Everybody can get some. We got enough to go around. Oh, wait. Maybe we don't. I only have 47 bullets. Zombies, drop ammo. Okay, we, we got a little bit of ammo. Let's try to take out some of these other zombies. Actually kind of cleans tier three zombies. Let's keep laying the wood. There you go. Shoot your laser. We don't need you here. Oh. He took that literally. Just fucking disappeared. Oh! And the, he can jump. He just did a box jump up here to shoot a laser at us. It wasn't good enough, though. Legendary Aether tool? Nope. Lame. Look, these zombies are stunned. They don't want none of this. None. But as long as I can get my hands on some of these tier three contracts, let's keep knocking them out because I need some more legendary aether tools and I'm starting to run low on the mag of holding. So if I can just get like a aether sigil, that'd be nice. I got really lucky when that new aether came out because I was getting mags of holding on almost every run. But now I only have like three left. So it's time to pony up. Honestly, I'm really liking this M16. I can just mow through hordes of zombies like it's nothing until I run out of ammo. Like just guns being fully automatic, just give it a, a plus one for me. I don't know what it is because a lot of burst weapons are still pretty good, but I just kind of don't like them. I just like the mindlessness of just holding down one button and dealing damage. I guess the zombies do too. Do I have any more self revives? Yeah, okay. I got one. I'm good. I'm good. Man, is a tier three disciple tanky. Just die, dude. Disciples are like this thing's kryptonite. Stop moving. Dick. These disciples are taking turns sucking me off. What? Where'd you go? Why are you jumping down here? Oh, you're just gonna attack some random dudes? Fine by me. Just as long as you fucking die. Please. Where are you going? You're gonna leave the area and then run all the way back to heal, aren't you? That's your strat. Oh, now he's getting lasered. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Where are you going? This has been the most annoying bounty I've ever fought in my life. Is there even a ladder up to this roof? How do I get to you? Do I have to go all the way over there and take the rope? Oh no, he's just fighting some random dude. Oh, now you're leaving again. Bro, make up your fucking mind and stop healing. I feel like I'm doing like a, a escort mission. Oh, and now he died. I think the mega abomination killed him and then took himself out. Sweet. I'll take that all day. Oof. What a pain in the ass. So as much as I'm liking this M16, it's very good against just normal tier three zombies and just normal roaming like bosses. Disciples are really a problem for it. For both these guns, actually. And now all the contracts are gone. We're going to have to assimilate to a team. Oh no, we're at another race towards this bounty, I think. Oh, don't you fucking take it. Don't you fucking take it. Oh, he's way ahead. All right, I'll just uh, request to join then. Let me in. I might have taken it from you earlier, but I'm a changed man. Look, I'll even help you out. I'm just here to help. Let me join your group. Request to join. Please, bro. All right, fine. Be that way. I didn't want to join your stupid ass group anyways. Maybe these fine gentlemen will let me join. Please. Maybe if I like teabag in front of them. Please, fellas. Come on, bro. Please, bro. Oh, he said no. 
man. Who needs a team anyways? I'm snagging these bounties left and right. For the most part. Let me out the fucking window, please. Oh, and it's an abomination. I'll take it. Going on, you big bitch. Time to die. And he's dead. Night, night. Oh, I'll be taking that. Still no rift, and we're running out of time. Most people have left tier three, though, so we don't really have to fight for these contracts. But uh, we're running out of time. 20 seconds till the storm starts moving. You know what? I'm not even going to put effort into killing this mega bomb. This guy is getting a turret circuit. Especially since there's two of you. Night, night. Why don't you come over here and get in range of this turret? He's just stuck in place. Is he ignoring me? Who do you think you are? Oh, now the turret's got him. How you like that? Night, night, you big bitch. Bro, I don't want a Wonder Wolf. I swear, I get sigils all the time when I'm not looking for them. And now that I want one, they're like, guess what? Out of stock. Try again later. Oh, shit. Is this a storm right here? Fuck. We got to kill this disciple either right now or leave. He's about to get a huge health boost right when this touches him. Come on. Oh, it's done. It's chalked. I'm chalked. I'm dead. Let me out. Ooh, I have no idea how I didn't go down right there. Yeah, and he's full health again. I'm leaving. Let's uh, cancel that contract. And since we couldn't get a sigil, I'm just going to go ahead and do this mission up here. Because I think we might still be able to get a decent reward from that final boss of this act mission. Maybe I can take out this abomination before the storm gets here, though. These do have a decent chance of dropping a legendary aether tool. Might as well try. Man, the M16 actually tears him. He's already at half health without trying. There we go. Perfect time for a laser. Got him. Drop anything good? Nope. Don't look like it. Let's enter the anomaly. Let's vote yes. And hopefully get something better from the final boss of this mission. All right, what's up, Rabinov? Let's get this done. I'm speed running this. Gentlemen, how are you? Let's get it moving. Oh man, I hope this terminal here doesn't become a mimic. Oh! I'm gonna take out the world's largest stronghold and get nothing for it. There we go. All done. Come on, gentlemen. It's time to leave. Oh, we got Spinal Husk. Really forgot about the camos for the MW2 guns. This is just so beautiful. I love the Dark Aether. The aesthetic of it's so nice. Give Clutch our kiss on his way out. Let me take this bad boy out. This is honestly not doing a whole lot to him. Maybe because he still has armor. Does his armor break? Oh, I guess his helmet just did. Let me take out some of these zombies. I want to see if I can get to Zerk on scale. I can't be that far off at 300 kills with this. Oh, out of ammo. All right. Time for you to go. I'll get Zerk on scale on it on another day. You need to be deleted. You better give me some good items. There you go. Come on. Oh, I'm so sick of seeing the VR-11 as a reward from this. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. But overall review of these weapons with MAGA holding, I really like the M16. It's a lot of fun to use. It's very mindless and it does some pretty decent damage. It kind of struggles a little bit against that HVT D Disciple and the Stormcaller. But outside of that, it can take down Mega Abominations fast. It can take down normal zombies fast. And it's just overall a pretty decent weapon. I think I might come back to this. And as for our Fennec, I really like the movement speed option of it, but I don't think the two round burst mod does enough damage to really justify like the huge loss of ammo that you get. And having a 12 round mag using MAGA holding on it. It's not really a problem with it because you don't have to reload a whole lot, but I was running out of ammo and I wasn't really dealing like an insane amount of damage. Like it was pretty decent and the movement speed on it's nice. But if I were to go back to this weapon, I don't think I'd use the two round burst mod on it again. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.